Hey everybody, Ryan from AdvoGadget here with another uh, unboxing video for you. Today we have the Ulephone B-Touch 2. Uh, bear with me today, I'm trying a new lighting setup, so we'll see how it uh, works. Um, this is another phone sent to me by GearBest, and it's actually on pre-sale right now, hasn't been released. Um, you can see the box is pretty simple, but nice. Um, Nice matte finish with a little reflective embossed B-Touch 2 on the cover. Um, this was actually factory sealed from, Inge at, from uh, GearBest, so um, they didn't open it up to install the screen protector or do anything like that. So this is fresh, fresh, fresh out of the box. I've opened it just because I wanted to see what was inside. I was too impatient to wait for you guys. but. Um, for now, let's just have a look. Here's the uh, features. We've got, uh, oh, let's focus in there, 5.5 inch IPS screen. It's actually apparently a 2.5D curved screen. I'm not sure what that means. Um, it's got a regular SIM and a micro SIM, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, 3050 milliamp hour battery. Uh, GPS with a GPS 64-bit octa-core uh, OV 60 56 48 5 megapixel with flash front camera so that's interesting and uh, and Sony IMX 214 Xmore 13 megapixel rear camera as well so then what do we have here uh, 1080p full HD record and playback Pure Android OS, yeah, it's stock Android. Um, three gigs RAM, 64 gigabyte ROM, supports up to 64 gig TF slash micro SD card, um, 4G, FDD, LTE, 3G, WCMA, GM, GSM, and a fingerprint sensor. Uh, not much else to see on the box here. This little white dot means that it's the white color. So, boop. Without any further ado, let's open this bad boy up and have a look inside. Here we have, doo -doo -doo -doo, as I open it, not much to see there. Just an empty box lid. And here we are, well protected with bubble wrap and a Ulephone embossed plastic covering as well. I'll leave that for a second just while we get to the rest of the contents of the box. Um, little cover here. Battery. Pretty straightforward. This is about the same size as the K3 Notes battery, so I'm going to wager that is roughly uh, correct with when they say it's a 3050 milliamp hour battery it feels pretty much identical in weight and size and I know uh, Lenovo doesn't lie about their specs on that sort of thing so yeah nothing special 3.8 volt lithium ion blah 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 3050 minimum typical etc charging voltage limit 4.35 volts nice Ulephone logo on the front and oh this is the bag that the battery is in it actually slipped out of that in the case I didn't take that out um, cheapo plastic screen protector typical with uh, these Chinese phones um, it looks like it's already scratched I don't know if you can really see that you can sort of see it a little bit there but not really um, so well, I might throw that on, I might not, depends. It's supposed to be a Gorilla, ga gorilla Glass on this phone, so we shall see. Um, here we have the manual, Ulephone, uh, English, French, Portuguese, maybe, Italian, don't know what AR is, uh, German, uh, Dutch, Russian, and Spanish. So... Hey, basic instructions if you've never used an Android phone before. 
how to choose a language, how to make a call, how to send a message. Wow. Record colorful moments. So this is a really basic Android manual giving the absolute basics on how to use it. And then uh, some safety information. Make sure your children don't choke on the phone. Prolonged listening at full power can damage your hearing. Yeah, that remains to be seen. I have yet to encounter a uh, Chinese phone that actually had decent volume. So we'll see about that. Driving, don't text while you're driving, you idiot. Uh, turn off your phone near medical devices because, I don't know, someone's pacemaker might stop. Okay, and then there's number five, implants and pacemakers. Be careful. <laughs> and fire hazard. Don't put it in the oven. Don't expose it to liquid. Use only Ulophone approved accessories. Uh, don't destroy the batteries and chargers. Blah, blah, blah. Shocks and impact. Electric shock. Don't try to dismantle it because you could electrocute yourself. If you want to clean it, use a dry cloth. Don't use benzene. <laughs> Recharge your phone in a well-ventilated area. For example, don't put it under your pillow and set your pillow on fire, dum-dum. And hmm, that's an interesting one I haven't seen before. Damage to magnetic strips. Keep your phone away from credit cards as it could damage your magnetic strips. And then we're just into the different languages. And interestingly, looks like it's just the... Oh, AR was Arabic. Um, but it looks like just the warnings are in the different languages. The actual instructions, such as they are, are only in English. So if you're really dumb and you can't figure out how to send a message with your phone, I hope you only speak English. All right, let's put that back. Um, it's actually quite a nice looking little charger that comes with it or U micro USB cable. Granted, everyone has a million of these, but it's nice to see a Ulophone branded one. And it's actually a flat cable with a fancy little USB attachment and a little silicone strap to tie it up. It's a nice touch, a little bit classy. Now, a headset. This looks and feels cheap as hell, but, oh, except a little bit of uh, fancy metallic reflective there, but it's plastic. Um, but really, these look and feel absolutely awful. Um, granted, it's more than you get with a lot of phones, more than I got with my P7000. So, hey, I'm gonna call that a win for Ulophone. And then just a Ulophone branded charger. And whoop, let's bring this up. So, whoop, 100, 240 volts, 50, 60 hertz, 0 0.3 amps, 5 volt at 1.5 amp output, so it's not a quick charger. And I don't actually know if this phone supports quick charging. And even though I'm in North America, this came with a European adapter. All of them come with European adapters. They don't come with North American adapters, but uh, GearBest always includes a European to North America converter to attach to that if you really want to use it. All right, so let's put this stuff back in. Let's take the phone out of the plastic. And so here you can see the Ulophone B-Touch 2. This is basically um, iPhone 6 clone or 6 Plus clone. Um, it's got a touch fingerprint sensor on the front instead of a swipe one. Um, then your standard Android menu, back buttons, single speaker port on the bottom and microphone, um, little separators there on the metal case. Feels nice. It's, uh, there isn't a lot of flex there, isn't a lot of bend, which is 
pretty good. And that's without the battery in. Um, let's try and boop, focus here. So here you can see Ulephone on the back, nice looking little camera sensor, LED flash, headphone jack, what I like to call the upside down micro USB port. Um, I'm used to having them facing the other way around, but all the Chinese phones except for the uh, Lenovo K3 have had it this way. So it feels upside down for the first little while. Um, Volume controls there, power button there, also the lock screen. Um, oh, and this fingerprint button is also a physical home button as well. And nothing on this side, but it's a nice metallic, uh, well, I assume metal, finish around the edges here. Um, and if you look at the front here, boop, there's the camera there. And this would be the front flash, which is very cool. And yeah, it actually comes with a plastic screen protector already attached as well. So you got one and you got a spare. Let's open up the back. It's a removable battery, obviously, since I already showed you the battery. Ugh. Okay, this battery cover is a bit of a pain to get off. Yeah, it's secure, I give it that much. Um, so no NFC with this guy again. Um, here on the back, let's see if I can focus in on these. Oh. Let's get a little more light. We've got a whole bunch of symbols. Can't really see them. They're embossed in these little diamonds. So there is a camera, recyclable. Uh, that looks like a game controller right there. Here we've got music notes. Um, the 3D sound logo, and then a couple things that I can't make out, and VO, whatever that means. So, pretty thin, flimsy battery cover. Feels fine when it's on the phone, but yeah, it's super cheap. And look at the phone itself. Um, you've got in here for a bit more light. So we've got our SIM 2 slot is micro SD, SIM 1 is regular SD, TF card which slides underneath. This is the exact same uh, layout as the back of the uh, P7000. This phone feels very similar to the P7000 actually in terms of size and while well, specs it's almost identical. So Ulephone, Model B Touch 2, there's your IMEIs, there's your uh, 3D sound logo and driver and that's right over the speaker vent there. Um, what else do we got here? Not much. You've got your typical uh, sticker antennas but they're well protected away from the battery cover clips, unlike on the MLA M52, which was an issue that I had, um, where it actually pulled up the antenna and tore it a little bit. So, well, it's nice that it's well protected and well shaped. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. So I'll pull this back, put the uh, battery in, put the battery cover on. Click, click, click. Now, hey, 
there's me. Now you can see, if I take this off, turn the phone on, the phone logo. Let's ignore me for the moment while we boot up. Wow, that was a pretty quick boot for especially the first boot. So I will adjust my camera here. So we can have a quick look. Um, this is, as previously mentioned, the stock Android. Oop. Hello. No SIM installed right now, but it's uh, your basic Android AOSP installation. Comes with the Play Store installed from stock. Um, let's see if we can get a bit more. Yeah, that's a bit funny looking color, but that's fine. So Play Store, all your basic apps, nothing fancy, no bloatware, nothing crazy. It does not appear to be rooted off the bat. That's fine. Has The only thing it comes with is a single Ulephone app which is trying to load up the Ulephone website. And that's all it does. And since I don't have a Wi-Fi connection, nothing to do there. Then the SIM Toolkit app is, I think, just to choose what SIMs do what. And then going into the settings, Hotnot, which is MediaTek's uh, touch to transfer functionality. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this, uh, screen protector that comes on by default has a terrible feel like swiping is real sticky and not particularly nice um, developer options enabled by default so USB debugging enabled by default that's really the only thing you want in developer options unless you're an actual developer and then about the phone Be Touch 2, Android 5.1. That's a plus and something I didn't know about. So this is AOSP Android 5.1. Then kernel version, blah, blah, blah. June 18th build, which is less than two weeks ago, 12 days ago. Today's June 30th. And then build number, Ulephone Be Touch 2, 2015 0618 and custom build version, whatever that means. But let's see if this brings us into the lollipop. There it is. Let's see if I can. Ha, huh. so we're not quite so yellow. Lollipop, and this is just your standard little lollipop thing. But it's not bad. Looks pretty good. Um, phone's very light, which is nice. Um, Granted, it doesn't have as big a battery as the uh, P7000 does, but spec-wise, it's pretty similar. The only difference being a slightly smaller battery, 3050 versus uh, uh, 3450 in the P7000. Um, otherwise, the specs are identical. 64-bit octa-core MediaTek MT67, <coughs> excuse me, 6752 processor. Um, can't really think of anything else. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. 
Uh, also, feel, feel, feel free to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and thanks for watching as always.